first period for your group? Um, it was a full uh, four lines, 6D going. Um, we stayed out of the box, so we had our five-on-five -five rhythm going. So I think that was that was key for us. You know, stay out of the box, roll four lines, get on their D, and we were able to do that. We'll go next to Paul Friesen from the Winnipeg Sun. Go ahead, Paul. Matthew, that second period looked really crisp and fast, maybe a bit back and forth too. Is that what you want this team to be? Is that close? Yeah, yeah. I mean, this you know we we talked about it uh, before the game. We didn't really like our last game, and uh, you know we were trying to simplify things a little bit more and Neil Zone try to you know get some pucks low to high and have guys uh, going to the net, and we were able to do that tonight consistently and um, it's showing the results. We'll go next to Mike McIntyre from the Winnipeg Free Press. Go ahead, Mike. Matthew, you probably made a lot of uh, minor hockey coaches happy who constantly preach to their players to play right to the final buzzer of every period with, with your goal there late in the first. Can you just kind of take us through maybe how you saw that play develop? Yeah, I guess our line was called last, last second, and I jumped on. I said it was 10 seconds, so I just kind of sprinted to the middle of the ice, and somehow that puck got loose in, in, in their in their end, and I was able to jump on it um, and just fire it on there as quick as I, I can. I knew there was much, not much time left, and uh, lucky enough, it went in. We'll go next to Jeff Hamilton from the Winnipeg Free Press. Go ahead, Jeff. Matthew, you look rejuvenated and, and looking like you're having a lot of fun this season, but it almost seemed like a, a, another level when you were able to put that puck in the net. What, what does a, you know getting rewarded for that hard work um, do for you, and how important is it to chip in, you know, and help out some of the guys in the top lines. Yeah, scoring goals always was always fun for me. Um, you know, so every time I get a chance to, to help the team uh, and get a goal and help win a game, it's I always get really excited about it. Uh, this is what I do for a living. I love playing this game since since I was born, really, and scoring goals was part of it. So um, now every time I score a goal, I always get excited, and you know, it always gives a, a chance to my team to, to win a game. So that, that's got to make you feel happy about yourself. We'll go next to Carter Brooks from Game On. Go ahead, Carter. Hey, Matthew. How nice is it just to have a reliable, steady option behind the net, in between the pipes, no matter who it is, whether it's LB, whether it's Helly? What's it like to have that reliance, no matter who's in that? It's huge. I mean, this year, every time LB got in the net, he got the job done for us. He's been rock solid. Um, and same with Helly. So it's, you know, this is. This is a, a key for every every team that wants to contend for for a Stanley Cup. You know, you gotta have you gotta have a goalie that makes a save, and you know we were lucky here to have two of them that can do that. Just a couple more for Matthew. We'll go back to Ken Weave from Sportsnet. Go ahead, Weaver. Matthew, what's allowed your group to avoid consecutive losses in regulation, and what does that do for a team's psyche? Yeah, I mean this this is a mindset. This is something we talk about uh, before the game. You know, we want to be that team that never loses two in a row. Uh, you got to get pissed off every time you lose a game. And this is the kind of attitude we've had uh, so far this year. And, you know, coming into this game, uh, we knew what to expect. And we, you know, we made sure that uh, we bounced back from that, from that last game. And final question to Mike McIntyre from the Free Press. Go ahead, Mike. Matthew, with, with the victory tonight, you guys are now uh, in second place in the Canadian division. Um, just what does that mean, I guess, at this stage of the season uh, as you now head out on, on a five-game road trip and 12 of the next 14? It's nice. I mean, every time you put points in the standing and you see your, the name of your team moving on up, it's, it's a good feeling. And this is the feeling we want to keep in, uh, you know, around this locker room. So uh, it's nice to be sitting there right now and we're going on the road and hopefully we can uh,